All right, good morning. Bobby Lee here from Hurricane Creek Farms. And stop me if you've heard this before, but we got a lot of things to do and not a lot of time to get it done today. But anyway, with that said, no sense in standing around here talking about it. We just need to get after it. Okay, so just to give you a bit of a rundown of what we are hoping to get accomplished today. Um, primary objective is that bad spot on the fence. If you watched our last video, if you didn't watch it, you should go watch it. But where that big tree is down, get that spot fixed. You will see you've got the side by side behind me. We're actually gonna drop it off, then head into town to the farm store, get some wire panels. I think it's gonna be our strategy of fixing that. Um, come back go put them up uh, I guess I should tell you too since our last video we brought in or bought 42 more stalker calves so let's take a look at them I need to get them moved out of that pasture right there where the holding pen is they don't have it completely eaten down but it won't take them long and I can't move them into the next pasture until the fence is fixed so get that done the we worked those calves and the bottom on Monday worked them on Tuesday um, we missed one, we had one slip through the automatic head gate on us, um, just hit it just right. So about a third of them came back into the pen yesterday when I took them a little feed, hoping that today they'll do the same and he'll be in there. And if so, we're gonna catch him real quick, run him through the chute, hopefully not miss him this time, get him vaccinated, deworm, um, ear notch and whatnot. All right, so as you can see there behind me, these calves may cooperate and come on in here this morning. See what they'll do. There's just the one in particular we're most interested in that has not been tagged yet. Um, and actually, he does have a tag, but it's just in his left ear, as opposed to all the ones that have it in the right ear. But see if we can get him caught um, in here and run him through the chute, and then we're gonna refocus our attention back on fixing that fence. And of course, the one we're interested in is one actually over on the far right, just standing there staring at us as probably over half of them have already walked in to eat. Frustrating. A few more are still filtering in there. Now he is the one turning around and going back the other way. So this may not go at all like we want it to. Okay, so apparently that fellow is just camera shy. You might can see him over there, the, the one with the tag in the right ear looking at us right now which of course there's about half a dozen looking at us but um yellow tag instead of an orange but yeah he, he just didn't want to come in there while we had the camera rolling so we're not doing the touchdown dance yet because we still got to get him in the shoot actually catch him this time but get him vaccinated dewormed and whatnot and then that will mean everybody has been done been processed which is good because i also want to go ahead and move him out of this pasture again um, while we get that fence fixed all right, so there he is, the elusive number 55, which was formerly his idea. We got him, got him vaccinated. Um, same thing again, we did in a few videos ago to those first 11 that we brought in. Three vaccines, the, the Pasteurella Manheimia, uh, the, the respiratory, um, modified live Boba Shield, uh, Gold, uh, and the Covex on the vaccines, shot a Zactran, shot a Long Range, got him ear tagged um, for number tag and um, ear notched for BVD testing and now he is back out there with his friends so which is good because now as we head that way to go fix the fence if they're all piled up back there where I think they are at the gate we'll just open the gate and count them as they all come through and be able to move them out of here this pasture's holding up pretty good um, the grasses are really starting to pop now that we're getting you know our lows it got down in the 40s last night but but the last week or so our lows have been like in the 50s um, that's when our grass really tends to start to take off and we've definitely had plenty of moisture um, too much if anything but now let's go fix some fence all right and so for the folks who didn't watch the last video 
shame on you, but we'll, uh, we'll kind of show you what we're dealing with here. I've already carried one panel over here, but essentially it's four big trees that are down. These two right here, and then they caught that one over there as well. And then, yeah, that smaller tree right there. And then probably several other smaller trees, but the fence is really only down maybe, you know, from right here with those two old brace posts to really right there, the next T-post you see. The fence is essentially pretty solid from there. So I think what we're gonna do, we'll secure that wire panel there essentially get it up here to these. Um, you know, they can't really walk out here even now. Um, I guess the closest place would be maybe right there. They could walk through if that panel wasn't there. But then, um, as I try to be an acrobat here, probably gonna set another wire panel over there tied into that wire somehow and coming across that one then just secure it right in here. So really, um, Redneck engineering, redneck ingenuity at its finest. Not at all a very um, perfect fix, um, but also not gonna be a permanent fix either. I don't know when we'll get in here with any machinery to clean it up, but essentially I think in a perfect world, you cut this tree off here, probably cut that bigger tree off, cut, just cut all these off and then take a dozer and push them out of the way one way or the other. but. We don't have a dozer and not gonna have one on this farm. I have no idea when or if we ever will see it again. So we're just gonna get it fixed where it'll hold cattle. All right, so show you what we did here. Got this panel tied in to that post that has good wire coming to it. Coming through here, kind of notched it out across that tree, kind of tacked up here. And we're essentially just relying on four half feet or so piled up wood there then more panels down through there until we get back to a post that has good wire so you will not find any of these fencing techniques in any sort of guide or how-to fence anything like that not unless you have got the white trash redneck version fencing manual but i think it's gonna hold these calves at least for now anyway and i feel Let's put it this way i feel confident that if they get out in the next few days it won't be right here not unless we have more damage but on that note we're actually uh forecasted to have more severe weather tomorrow or into tomorrow night so it's lovely um springtime in the mid-south it's rinse and repeat beautiful sunny days like this and it's only we're only ever two or three days away from you know a severe weather uh morning but we can get everything checked for now. See if we can really get all the calves into this pasture to, on this farm, it's really, I guess there's five different pastures, but really just three main ones. Uh, we call it north, a middle and a south pasture. The north and south pastures we both have access to from the main road. Um, but get them all moved into this middle one together, I think. Uh, and uh, that way when we're checking them, we just had to be making one stop rather than making multiple stops every morning because again four five days a week this is just my side hustle and so don't always have a lot of extra time to be whoa we nearly had a blooper there um a lot of extra time to be wasting running around at 10 different spots to check calves okay so anyway we're gonna we're gonna get the rest of the fences checked give them a once over because again, even though we've checked all these like, I guess about 12 days ago now on horseback, obviously we've had some damage that's occurred since then with more still maybe yet to come. As we walk just through the gate here into this north pasture, go ahead and get this bunch of 26. If we can move into this middle, um, they're all pretty well trained. They'll come when we call them, come to a feed bucket. Um, I don't have a feed bucket with me, but they don't really know that. But see if we can get them to go ahead and move in this pasture. Then can get those others in here as well. Um, eventually I do need to move all these to the other end of the place because we want to sort all the heifers off and get them out of here. Um, some that we're going to keep for replacement, some that we're probably just going to go ahead and sell. 
that aren't replacement quality. There they come. Let's see if we can get them through here. And of course, this is the ditch that we have shown several times. Not too far across there, but can't cross it with any kind of motorized vehicle. Um, got a fix for that in mind that we may get to today. It's probably wishful thinking. That's We'll only get to that if everything else goes absolutely according to plan. And yeah, we all know that never happens. So let's see if we can go ahead and get these few moved in here and at least get that little bit accomplished. Come on, babies. Come on. Woo! Woo! Come on, y'all cross that ditch. All right, let's see who's gonna be the first brave one to cross the ditch. Number three it is. Come on. All right, I gotta help me count them. Should be 26 if they all are here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. It's 13 to 14 and 15 coming through the gate. Come on, babies. Come on. 16, 17. All right, so yeah, we're not gonna sit here all day waiting on them. We'll, uh, all the boys are scared and all the heifers have already jumped across. So we'll come back later, see if they pull their skirts down and, and go ahead and step across there. But they're kind of being, uh, being pansies right now. All right, so we got these boys and they're coming up to the gate. Maybe it's Sadie, but they don't want to quite come through. But having already moved them other calves through, if they'll come in on in here, they'll be meeting in the middle, just as, uh, I believe it was that Diamond Rio uh, sang that song? Come on. I think it was Diamond Rio, but anyway, throwback to when country music was actually worth the crap. Come on, y'all come on through there. Come on, boys. Woo! You just need that one smart one to do it first. Here they come. Here comes a few more stragglers. And there's always one that is just not quite as smart as the others. You can see he went on the wrong side of the gate. And so now he's found his way stuck in a corner. So yeah, what does he do? He goes that way. That makes total sense. Just go that way, you know. Somehow you missed the wide open gate that like eight of your other buddies walked right through. It's just yet another reason or another example of why we eat them and not vice versa. They're, uh, we love them because they taste good, not necessarily because they're smart. We love them for a lot of reasons, really, but one of them is definitely because they taste good. And their brains is definitely not one of the reasons we love them. All right, so right here behind me, we had the gate open, this road through the woods, had 42 calves walk down this road. 41 of them walked right through the gate. You can see a bunch of them off over there now. And we have one, this genius, who you can see is down there in the woods now, walked on that side of the gate and then, you know, can't figure out how to get back around here. So if he'll come on up here, we'll be able to shut them all in here and not have to worry about them being in two different pastures for the next few days. Otherwise, we'll just try to count them all in here tomorrow and see if he makes it through. But yeah, they're just not that smart. All right, so per usual, slight change of plans, but not because anything's necessarily gone terribly wrong. Um, this is that cattle guard that I was planning on laying across that ditch. Um, you know, it, it's made to drive across uh, naturally being a cattle guard. I think it'll work, but it's not gonna fit on the trailer, not on that trailer anyway. And I can tell I'm getting older and a little bit smarter because I actually measured before I just tried to put it on there and found out it didn't fit the hard way. But yeah, it's just not gonna fit in between the wheel wells on that trailer. So think we've got a an old deck over in gooseneck um that's not in real great shape but it'll clearly fit on it being a deck over and 
won't, won't get to do that today. Not gonna have time. It's already 2.15 by the time I go get that trailer pulled out of the weeds. And um, I tried to use it last year and um, one of the wheel bearings was froze up. So eh, that trailer might not end up working out anyway, but tentatively that's my plan for sometime here in the next, uh, maybe the next couple of weeks when we catch it dry enough again. Um, it's really not that dry right now, but I think I could could have gotten it in there. But so now we are going to fix the electric fence over here. Now that they're done building the barn, where we can let the bulls in, that little bit of grazing kind of along our driveway and essentially almost in our front yard, really. But they've been just eating, you know, some some feed and hay all winter. We got all this grass over here that needs to be grazed. I was just waiting until they finished that barn before I tried to move them back. But yeah, you can see that grass. They will be content and happy to get start grazing on that. And so we'll work on that instead. All right, so I think you can see those three are very happy to be grazing eating a roll of hay like they have been for the last several months got some some mineral put out um not they're eating this lush forage all of a sudden i mag for them yeah i didn't really video putting up the that's a very temporary simple electric fence just stuck a few posts in the ground stretched over there where it's connected just like the old one was um and to power but uh yeah i guess it's nearly three o'clock now. I'm gonna go check on the cow herd. Have not really laid eyes on them today. Don't don't think we had anybody that was getting ready to calve, and, um, you know, immediately. But you never know. We might have a new calf. All right. So the cow herd kind of out here enjoying some grazing, nice sunshine. A few of them lounging over there. Um, there's a striped cow there, perpetually annoyed by presence of the dogs when she has that young calf but yeah cows are looking good we just let them into this part of the bottom like two days ago they've been in here just a little over 48 hours beating it down a fair bit but still plenty of grazing um, letting the other part of the bottom rest um, rotate them off of that but yeah they're doing good nobody looks like they're about to calve the, the few that are left to calve um, really don't look like they're you know super close like within the next few days or anything but all right and so got a lot of stuff done today got that got that fence fixed was a major thing got all those calves put together in one bunch so all 68 together like we need them to be makes it much easier checking them we uh you know got got these bulls and lucy put together so been a productive day you know i've got a few more things to get done i think that'll just about wrap it up with the video. Keep watching, keep tuning in. We've got several more things to do coming up. Uh, you know, it's spring, it's that time of year. We're not running out of anything. Appreciate you watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Give it a thumbs up, share it. We enjoy that. You know, definitely audience is growing. Um, we appreciate those of you who have helped. But as always, we remind you, eat beef and God bless.